Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show different ways of stringing together Mixamo animations in HitFilm. All right, so let's start off with a super easy one. I have a basic scene set up with a three point lighting system, a camera and a floor plane. You can see the floor plane is there. If I bring in this astronaut, and place him on the floor plane and then adjust him so that he's in the right position. And then after I have made my adjustments, I go ahead and add my animation. If I have an animation that has the model doing something like in this case, looking around, but not moving anywhere, then I can very easily go ahead and just open up the animation folder and tick on loop. That way it will loop over and over and over again and it will be seamless. That's assuming he's not going anywhere. But let's assume that we have a model that is actually moving. Even if I want to use the loop feature, this is how I would do it. For example, I have this mousey model and he's running. So I'm just going to bring the mousey model in uh, and then I will open up the properties and go ahead and drag in the running animation. All right. Now that I have that, you can see that he is running away from the camera and so on and so forth. OK, what I would do is, is I would go ahead and create a point and make it three dimensional. And this will be the mousey control point that I will use to adjust his position. So opening up the mousey model, I will transform the model from that point, mousey control point, and then I can do everything here to the mousey control point. So first I will set up the mousey model by adjusting the anchor of the control point this way. Then if I come back here, you can see he's awfully big, so let's scale down the control point again. And if I look at it from the top, then I can go ahead and again, the control point, I can push it way back in space. Okay. And now you can see that the mousey is running forward and then stops. Okay. Because that's the end of the animation. If I open up the mousey model and I tick on the loop, then you will see that it will loop just like it did before, except that it keeps resetting back to where it was. OK, so here's what you'll do. You'll move forward and let me go to a top view. You will move forward until it resets again. And I'm just going to use the frame. So right there is where it resets. I'm going to take that mousey model using the slice tool and slice it. Now I can move forward again and again, exactly where it um, resets. Then I will slice it and one more time right there, maybe uh, two more times. Oh, yep. Yeah. Right there, I will slice it again. All right, so now using the selection tool and the mouse control point, I can go ahead and the point may start there. So at the very beginning of the animation, I will set a keyframe and then I will page down to the next beginning of the next animation. You can see where it is. And then I'm just going to move that keyframe forward so that it is roughly where it needs to be. Uh, if I set this to, or both of them, all of them to constant keyframes, then you will see I'm pretty close, maybe just a little bit back. Okay, so I just want it to be roughly in the same place as it was before. And that's about right. I'm going to come and page down again and add a new keyframe, which will be constant. And if I back up, you can see about where it is, about right there. So I'm just going to put it about right there. Yeah, that looks good. Then I will page down to the next one, keyframe and a new keyframe, make it constant. And you can see it's about right there. So I'm just going to bring that to about right there. Yeah, good. And then one more time, page down, 
find the uh, or create a new keyframe, make it constant. Uh, and you can see that basically it is about, well, it's actually further down here and it's about right there. Okay. So now when I go back to the active camera, you can see that now because I am using that point, it is causing the animation to continue to move forward every loop of the animation. But what if I want to have different animations? Well, I can do that as well. So I'm going to start by bringing in the mousey model. And again, I'm going to go ahead and uh, assign it to a new mousey control point. Opening up the model, I will go ahead and transform from that mousey control point. Looking at this from the top view, I will go ahead and put the mouse control point further back in the back. Of course, I need to make it three dimensional. Also, looking at it from the front view, I need to adjust the anchor point so that it is sitting correctly and I want to resize again. Okay, back to the top view. So, say for example, the mousey model is going to start with a running animation. Okay, and so now he runs until he gets to there where he stops running and that's it. So now I will go ahead and cut that just like I did before. This time, however, I am going to remove the running animation and instead I will use a sliding animation, for example. Okay, so now that I've done that. He's going to do a slide and then stand back up. And let me just find where he, right there is where that ends. Okay, so now I will just cut that again. And just for good measure, let's go back to a running animation. So we will remove that from the third one and re-add back in the running animation. Now the process will be the same. I'm going to start at the beginning with the mouse control point uh, and I will place ma the mousey about where I want him to be. Keyframe the position, make that constant. Page forward, page down will get me to the, the beginning of the next one. And you can see that it is roughly about there. So I'll just drag this forward. Perfect. Okay. Now I will page down again, add a new keyframe. It will be constant. And you can see roughly it's about between those two. So this will be pretty easy to find. Yep, just like that. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so now I've strung those three together. Let me go back to my active camera. And you can see that Mousy is now running. And then he does a slide. And then he starts running again. Okay, so it's pretty much that simple. It doesn't really matter what the animations are. All you have to do is make sure that in between the animations, the, the model pose is approximately what it was in the previous animation so that they fairly seamlessly get uh, or be put together. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and the little bell icon for notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.